Hello, everybody, and welcome to our mobile viewpoint kickoff. This is our post IBC event. Sadly, there's no IBC this year. So, to make up for that, we're having our virtual event where all of this week we'll be having daily webinars and we'll be inviting you, our prospects, clients, customers, and partners, to have one on one meetings with us via Zoom where we're going to have all our technology on display. Uh, and we'd welcome the opportunity to discuss your, your needs, your workflows, your aspirations, your dreams. Um, and that's what this week's all about. So today to kick off, um, I have a short PowerPoint presentation which I'm going to share with you. Um, just some housekeeping. We have a Q&A session. So if you have some questions as I go along, feel free to write them. And at the end, uh, we'll then address those uh, live. Um, other housekeeping, no one can hear you, so feel free to make as much noise as you like, and hopefully you can hear me. Um, so to start with, I'm just going to share my screen. Just give me a second. So, I don't know about you, but when doing trade shows, we're often on the show floor, and when people come and talk to us, we know normally the first thing they ask us is what's new. So I just wanted to start off you know, by saying what is new? Um, well, I'm new at Mobile Viewpoint, well, relatively. I've been here sort of seven, eight, nine, nine months now. I actually joined in January. Uh, not that could be interesting, but certainly the technology is interesting. So what is new? Well, on the encoder side, 5G, that's one of the, the, the buzzwords at the moment, obviously, as we sort of start 5G rollout. Um, multi-camera encoders. So again, uh, mobile viewpoint, I'll talk a bit about, if you're not familiar with mobile viewpoint, who we are in a second. But um, one of the things we do at mobile viewpoint is constant innovation. So multi-cam is one of the things, this is basically having an encoder that can support multiple cameras for live streaming. So traditionally you'd have one encoder, one camera, now we can support multi-cam. But the whole of this year as well, remote productions, the whole of this year has seen the sports industry turned on its head. Um, as we know, with the pandemic and um, what's happening, it's had a serious impact on, on how we do our business, uh, not just for us, but also for our customers and our partners. And that is not more, more true in the sports production world. They're already looking at doing more and more in terms of remote production, but now it's really accelerated that process. But thankfully, our technology has already started to integrate some of the needs that you need for remote production. Again, I can talk a bit about that. Obviously, 4K technology as well. Obviously, 4K has been around a little while now, but certainly for outside broadcast for live streaming using 4K, it is a relatively recent um, uh, achievement, I would say. But also AI technology. So as a company, Mobile Viewpoint, we really have started developing some very interesting solutions around artificial intelligence, uh, both our sports production platform and our camera automation platform. What they both have in common, in fact, is removing the need of having camera people go to site, removing the need of an on-site director, and actually letting the AI take control of, of everything. But also this year, what's new, I mentioned at the start, this is our sort of virtual IBC, but we were part of the, uh, the real IBC last week, the virtual IBC that was held. Um, and as part of that was the Accelerator program. And I don't know how many of you tuned in to see the Accelerator program, but we feel we did a world first uh, as, as far as mobile viewpoint is concerned. So what the idea behind it was actually demonstrate streaming only on 5G. So we're working with Vodafone Ziggo here in the Netherlands, um, doing a live stream actually from a boat. But we wanted to do more than that. Uh, and in fact, what we did, we set up vPilot, which is our automatic AI uh, camera production platform. We set this up on a boat. And there's kind of famous singer in the Netherlands called Emma Hastings. She's very big on YouTube. Um, and in fact, we had her uh, guest starring on the boat we were able, using our vPilot, to live stream her over 5G, but again, with the use of AI. So no camera people, no camera direct. So basically, the AI was left to totally control itself. Um, and at the, end of this, at the end of this sort of webinar, I've got a bit of a 30-second clip, but I'll show you that in action. But for us, that was a, certainly a first for us and super interesting. So some of you might be saying, okay, I've tuned into this webinar. Who, who are Mobile Viewpoint? 
So Mobile Viewpoint Technology Company, uh, we've actually I'm talking from our studio in our galactic headquarters. We're based around 25 kilometers north of Amsterdam. But for the last 10 years, we've actually been innovators in encoding technology. So this is a, a mobile encoder. Um, basically, I connect this to the camera. Uh, and where traditionally before these were invented, you had to sort of like be a live stream over satellites using sat trucks and the like. It's just very expensive. And all of a sudden, we have an encoder. You can sit in a backpack, connect to the camera, and then we can start live streaming over then 3G, then 4G, and soon to be sort of 5G network. So it's a very cost-effective way of being able to live stream. As a company in this building, we have all our development, sales, support, marketing, we're all here. And actually that makes us kind of very innovative. So a lot of our roadmap is actually uh, dictated by our customers, saying we have this, we have that. And as a company, we've got a faceless corporate. And this sort of thing we can entertain. So recently, one of our competitors launched a new product saying they're first to market with this and that, but actually they weren't. Mobile Viewpoint had uh, already sort of been doing this for sort of six months to a year, which included 4K, included multi-camera, but also including sort of 5G as part of our setup. The other thing that we've been really innovating in is this term called Remy. So Remy is basically around remote production. I mentioned the sports people who are more and more moving more and more to remote production. So I no longer have the need to send an OB truck to site. Basically, I can just send my camera people, send a live feed back to the broadcast center. And at the broadcast center, actually, they can do everything remotely with its commentary, graphics, switching, whatever they need to do, they can do back in the broadcast center. And the big advantage of that is obviously they don't need to send people to site. They don't need to send OB trucks to site. And it's good for the workers because it means they have their weekend after the match. They can just go home. It's, it's great. Um, so in terms of Remy, we have the tally. These are the lights on the cameras. So, for example, I can see tally light here on this camera that I'm talking to. Um, RCP, this allows me to re actually remotely control my camera. So this is an RCP interface. It's a completely separate interface, but I can control things like color correction, iris control, that sort of thing, but again, remotely. And like with any good uh, encoder in the OB world, often the director needs to talk back uh, and we allow that, but also now more and more in terms of video return as well. So camera people on site can actually see what the broadcast center is seeing as well, literally because the sender returned video back. So that's the encoder market. So we've been sort of uh, market leaders in that for the last sort of 10 years. And I, my next slide will actually show, show some of our customers. But also since the last couple of years, we have been developing our AI technology. So we have vPilot, which is actually what we've got running here in the studio, uh, but also our IQ sports production platform. And I have an example, which I can show you later around that as well. But basically it's allowing uh, sport productions to be created, but without the need for camera people to go on site. So here are some of our customers uh, globally, uh, BBC in the UK, Sky, well, the list is there, but we're serving customers literally all over the world. And we have resellers and partners in, in every territory, or just about every territory. But today is the launch. Um, IBC, so I mentioned people say, oh, so what's new? Well, over the year, because there's no, not been any trade shows, we've actually been launching products as and when they've been coming available. So we've launched the Airlink Ultra 5G. So the Airlink is our flagship product from the encoder point of view. Um, and what is it doing? It's basically supporting 4K, um, but also 5G modems as well. And again, supporting complete video return and all the good things that you'd expect from an encoder. The other thing we have is the, the Trolley Live, so we can see it here. Uh, so Trolley Live is basically the studio uh, in a box. So it includes the, not just the encoder, but also a camera, has a PTZ camera, has a screen on the front for the return video, obviously uh, supports full audio. But the great thing about this device is especially in the current climate where presenters um, cannot make it to a studio, we can send the studio to them. Um, we're not expecting them to be technical. Uh, so as long as they can turn it on, the great thing about this device is that it can be completely remotely controlled. So all they need to do is turn it on, 
Um, and then the camera, the encoding, everything can be done remotely. Um, the interesting thing about this, we know there are other products on the market doing similar to what Trend Live is doing, but one of our biggest strengths is the fact it also incorporates SIM cards and, and modems as well. So we know, uh, for example, with one of our American partners, and I've, I've got a case study to show later, where they were doing some sort of streaming of games with some celebrities. Actually, you'd expect celebrities to have, you know, fiber, huge amounts of bandwidth. And actually, one or two didn't. You'd be surprised. They sort of live in the middle of nowhere. So they topped it up with their SIM cards as well. So you're guaranteeing that good connection or at least mitigating against, you know, bad connection of the broadband. We can top up with the mobile cellular network as well, making it very reliable. Um, full H.265 encoding, um, all the latest in, in terms of that. Um, yeah, it's just a very solid product. So, you know, that's one of the things that's been driven by this year. 2020 has been fairly crazy, to say the least. So what else is new this year? So we have universal decoder in the cloud. What is this, you may ask? So if you're using our competitive technologies, uh, what we're not expecting you is just to rip it all out and put in mobile viewpoint technology. So what this enables the universal decoder in the cloud is we can take streams from our competitors and basically transcode them in a way that we can then push them to our decoders. So you don't have to give up using, you know, the competitive stuff. You've, you've invested in that, you want to sweat out your assets, then by all means carry on. And then over time you can slowly sort of uh, move away from that technology into mobile viewpoint land. Um, but again, it's just allowing a dual vendor strategy uh, using our decoders. And then we also have two-way link as well. So what this has come about is quite often we talk about remote production, but actually many people are still wanting to send OB trucks to site and they want a way of decoding in the OB trucks. I'm sending encoder to decoder, but instead of that decoder being back in my broadcast center, this decoder is now in my OB truck, but I want to connect it to the mobile network. So this is something we've seen more coming with that. But what two-way link allows as well on top of that is the ability to send a full HD stream back to that decoder. So from an encoder back to another encoder. So I might have multiple streams coming into my OB truck. It's almost like a, a video return but with full HD. So that's what two-way link is giving you this sort of encoder to encoder uh, live streaming. Now, brand new product. We're launching this today. Well, I'm launching it, we're announcing it today. So big drum roll. So the IQ XCAM. So this, the XCAM is what we've been using with our IQ SP. So this is our AI for the sports production platform. Um, we have the XCAM already, which is uh, our own camera we manufacture here, which is a full broadcast quality 60 frames per second panoramic camera that we use with our sports production. So the way IQ SP works, just for those of you who don't know, um, it basically is a camera, it's above the field of play, we capture everything. But then using AI technology, we then create a virtual zoom on the player and the ball. So we're following the action of the panoramic zoom. Uh, and we only live stream that, but actually we're capturing everything. So if you want to create additional streams later or multiple streams from the panoramic zoom, you can do that as well. So no action is ever missed. Um, what the XCAM Pro does actually is, is taking that to a new level. Uh, so if you imagine uh, on a field, especially in a portable environment, sometimes you can't always guarantee the camera is going to be close to the pitch. So the IQ XCAM Pro can be actually moved back away from the pitch. It has very powerful zoom capability. But when you're doing the panoramic, you only want to capture the pitch, not everything else. So using sort of a motorized engine, we can basically move the lenses so it only covers the pitch. So you're not losing pixels in effect. Um, which are wasted on the sky or the stand, and it just improves the quality, the overall quality of the picture that you're getting. Uh, but also there's a mechanical uh, iris control in there as well. So what the iris control is doing, if imagine your camera and you've got the sun, again, you're going to have different lights across the whole of the pitch. So it's managing the light exposure across the pitch as well through iris control. Uh, and again, that's part of the uh, IQX Cam Pro. So brand new announcement, we expect that to be sort of shipping around November time, but it's a good time to announce any good trade show, we always announce something new. 
But this is IQSP, for those who have not seen it. So this is one of our success stories. Um, hopefully you can see the video. It might be a little blocky, just because I'm going through Zoom, but at my end, it isn't quite smooth. Um, so we've, over, we've highlighted the ball with a red dot. But what this is, one of our customers in UK Timeline Productions, they, they use this on, uh, this is actually in the Manchester City ground, but with the Ladies League. So we're actually showing this, uh, filming this, recording this with IQSP. So again, no, no camera people. It's the panoramic camera creates everything. And then we create this sort of virtual zoom. And you can see that it moves with the players. Now, as, as you'd expect with any sort of professional production, we can do a scoreboard overlay, we can do a graphic overlays, but also recently we've introduced the ability where it can do automatic highlights. So if you want to do replays, again, it can all be built in to the system. But this is IQSP, and we've got a, a webinar on Friday, I believe, uh, particularly around this where we're going to go a bit more deep and dirty into the technology. So I should mention every, every day, every morning, every afternoon this week, we've got different webinars on different subjects. Um, so tomorrow we're going to talk more about the encoding technology, Wednesday, Link Matrix, which is our management platform. Uh, Friday we've got IQSP. Uh, but yeah, if you look at the website, you see the list of uh, webinars we're doing as well. Okay, and, um, and I mentioned earlier as well about sort of the, the trolley live. Now, our, our, our partner, CP Communications in the US, um, this was a great case study, and they actually did a webinar on this a few weeks ago as well, where basically they were doing sort of live streaming, uh, sort of esports, uh, sort of, well, I say esports, but it's it, it, it in effect was. But they also wanted to live stream the people as well, and they had quite a few celebrities in here as well, as you can see. And this is where I mentioned, you know, having the SIM cards to top up the broadband is actually quite a necess necessity uh, in this scenario. But it worked really well. Um, obviously, people can't get together anymore because of the pandemic. But, you know, now the creators, production creators, uh, they're, they're coming up with more and more ideas of how to create compelling content. Um, and using our technology, we can really enable that. So a big thank you to CP Communications for doing this and letting me share this. And another customer we recently signed up is Solid Sport. So this is a Scandinavian uh, sports company. They actually have a, 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 their own sort of platform uh, where they stream content to. And it allows customers, partners to monetize their content on their platform. But they have a big uh, contract with uh, uh, foot, uh, football, not football, sorry, uh, floorball. So floorball is like hockey, but on a, on a gymnasium floor. It's like an indoor sport, and it's very big in Scandinavia. But this year, we're doing 10 installations, but we expect sort of um, 10 times that next year as well as it grows. Um, and, and one thing about IQSP I should mention is that we're not really trying to replace those sort of tier one professional productions like the football Premier League, where they send a camera crew to site. We're not really looking to replace that. What we're trying to do with this technology is enable games that perhaps in the past couldn't be live streamed because of budget, because of money, because of resource. And now all of a sudden we're enabling that. So for sort of the lower league sports, some of the women's sports, the youth sports, but even those grassroots sports or unique sports where they're a bit niche maybe they'd have the little guy with the handy cam, but you can't really get a professional production with that. But using IQSP with our cameras, and the AI technology, all of a sudden you can start creating real professional productions, but potentially at a fraction of the cost of what you would have paid in the past. So, as I mentioned, this is our virtual trade show. So, we're doing webinars all this week, but the real aim is to have one on one discussions with you as our partners and customers, where we really want to. So I'll make appointments with you and really talk about what is it that you want to do? Uh, how can our encoding technology help? Let's discuss your workflows. Um, so if this is interesting, what I would say, our email address is sales at mobileviewpoint.com. Um, make an appointment with us and we can basically, we have a technology on display. We can talk you through it. We can get deep and dirty, whether it's the encoded technology or the AI technology, or if you're interested in vPilot, which is what we're operating here as a camera uh, automation platform. Again, you know, we'd welcome to have those conversations. So, 
at the start, I mentioned the IB6 accelerator program. So this is where we're live streaming over 5G with our AI uh, production platform, the pilot. So what I'd like to do now, I'm gonna stop this uh, and then I'm gonna share my screen again and I'm gonna play you about 30 seconds uh, of, of Emma Hastings basically from the ship. So bear in mind, it's all done through vPilot and it's all live streaming over 5G. And we did this live last week as part of the IBC Accelerator program. Um, it was very exciting. So let me just share this with you. Just one second. I'm gonna stop the share. I'm not convinced with Zoom. It's always sharing what it should be. I'm gonna share my screen again. Share my screen. There we go. Just give me a second. There we go. Many fingers sometimes. Haste welcomes Emma Hastes. Take it away, Emma. dirt all on my name cause you knew that I'd knew that I'd knew that I'd call you up you've been going around going around going around every party in LA cause you knew that I knew that I knew that I'd be in one I know the dress is karma perfume regret you got me thinking about when you were mine and now I'm all upon you, what you expect But you're not coming home with me tonight You just want attention, you don't want my heart Maybe you just hate the thought of me with someone new Yeah, you just want attention, I knew from the start You're just making sure I'm never getting over you You've been running around, running around, running around, throwing that dirt all on my name. Cause you knew that I'd, knew that I'd, knew that I'd call you up. Baby, now the word, now the word, now the word right here, standing face to face. You already know, already know, already know that you won. I know that the rest is karma, perfume regret. You got me thinking about when you... So there we go. Hopefully that gives a fairly good taste of, um, of how the 5G was working uh, and more importantly, how the AI technology was working as well. Now, that sort of concludes what I had to say for the kickoff. Um, I did get a chat comment there that perhaps the audio is not working as well as it could be, for which I do apologize. Um, but if there are any questions, uh, just feel free to put them in now and we could take them through. So that, as I mentioned, this week is virtual IBC. So if you do have, uh, if you want to have a meeting with us, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, by Zoom, just email us at sales at mobilebuildpoint.com uh, and we'd be happy to set that up. Also, please look at the website for the webinars. So tomorrow we, we've got the, uh, the encoders, Wednesday link matrix, um, and Friday we have the IQSP one as well. I do have a question. Image is jumpy. Yeah, the, the, the image is jumpy. And I'm wondering, maybe the same for audio as well because of the Zoom. Um, it, it doesn't always uh, work as well. So from my end, it's quite smooth. But if you go to the IBC website, if you want to see that in its entirety, you can look at it. Um, our bit starts around about 19 minutes in. But, you know, I was so pleased because actually we didn't get a chance to really test it beforehand. I don't know if you've ever done a live event, but apparently it's quite normal to uh, leave everything to the very last second before everything goes live. So we didn't get a chance to properly test. Um, so that was uh, an interesting, uh, well, interesting experience for me as well as a sales guy to be involved on the technical side. So, uh, yeah, that was great. Um, can you elaborate on universal decoder in the cloud for sure? So universal encoder in the cloud, and perhaps I could show this more sort of on a one-on-one. -on -one. So if, 
if the encoders normally they can send us some sort of transport stream um, or RTMP stream, we can then basically push that from our cloud via Link Matrix. So Link Matrix is our management platform, runs under a standard browser. When you buy any of our encoders, you get Link Matrix. It's completely for free. It's completely for life. We don't charge any subscription for it. Um, but within, within Link Matrix, you can then basically decide, okay, I want to take this transport stream and push it to a, a decoder over here. So if I'm creating SDI streams, it's an easy way of doing that. So that's what universal decoder. But by all means, if you want a proper demo, you can do that. Again, sales at mobileviewpoint.com. Just, just let us know. So I think on that, unless there's any more questions, I'd just like to thank everybody for joining us this afternoon. Please tune in again for our further webinars. Um, they do go a bit more deep and dirty in terms of the technology. Um, it's been a real pleasure talking to everyone. Um, thank you for your time. Ask, stay safe, everybody. Uh, until, until next time, hopefully very soon, we'll chat again. Thank you very much.